Good evening and welcome to another episode of Game of Thrones. And there's really only one thing I care about right now tonight, and that is Jaime's hand. That was such a crazy ending to the last one, and almost more dramatic in a way than if they just cut his head off. Because I just don't know what this is gonna do to his character arc now. Like, he is such a prideful, arrogant person, and also, like, he's got all his self-worth wrapped up in, like, his ability to fight. And then they go and chop his whole freaking hand off. And I don't, of course, don't know really what's possible and impossible with magic in this world. Like, I don't know what they can do and not do. But I can't imagine they're going to be able to put his hand back on. So, I don't know. It's going to be real interesting to see what this just does to him and how he handles this. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and check out episode 4. Oh, that's his hand. I actually thought we wouldn't start with that. I thought they were going to wait a bit to get into it. But I guess How we're picking up... Do you think we could shove up his ass? Are they making him wear it? Is that the sort of thing you and your sister go in for, Kingslayer? She loosened you up for us. Oh, they are making him wear it. He's going to fall off his horse. Someone help him. Jesus. <clears throat> I hope they did something to his wound too, so it's not just falling into the mud with it like that. I have to imagine that'll give you a nasty infection. Is this a trick? Or... No? I thought maybe he was going to try to run or something, but... Maybe he actually is as defeated as he looks. Can't say that I've ever seen a man drink horse piss that fast. Did they really, did they really give him horse piss? Oh my god, and he didn't notice? Oh. He, uh, okay, I don't know how this is gonna go. I imagine he must be a little weak from blood loss too. Well, he's gonna have a rough time from now on for sure. I'd have to imagine he can still apply a lot of his fighting experience and skill just through his left hand, but I mean, he's not gonna have the same control of the blade, of course. Do that again, and I'll take your other hand. Yeah, you probably wanna avoid that. That would really suck. I wonder if he's even gonna wanna go on living at that point. Perhaps this is the wrong time. Oh no, it's a wonderful time. I thought one of your little birds might have knowledge of my sister's intentions to... End your life? I need proof. Proof? Will there be a trial? I need to know. I have no proof. Don't imagine there'll be much of a trial, I though. was going to tell you the story of how I was cut. <clears throat> oh, that would be interesting, actually. A certain man made my master an offer too tempting to refuse. I feared the man meant to use me as I'd heard some men used small boys but what he wanted was far worse his balls he gave me a potion that made me powerless to move or speak yet did nothing to dull my senses oh that doesn't blade, sound good me, root and stem chanting all the while he burned my parts in the brazier the flames turned blue and i heard a voice answer his call so some kind of magic ritual i still dream of that night I imagine he will for the rest of his life, probably. This sounds horribly traumatic. I resolved to live. To spite him, I begged. I sold what parts of my body remained to me. I became an excellent thief. Damn. And soon learned that the contents of a man's letters are more valuable than the contents of his purse. Influence grows like a weed. I tended mine patiently until its tendrils reached from the Red Keeper. All the way across to the far side of the world, where I managed to wrap them around something very special. So what? Hello. Oh, was that the dude that? It's been a long time. Also, shouldn't he be a little older by now? But, but damn, I wonder was it what he's gonna do with him then? Just keep him in there? Oh. Shit, I wouldn't want to be him in that box, that's for sure. Shoveling. Really is most of it. Ah, oh, look. More shit. How's 
starting to wonder what to do with the rest of my day. Yeah. I need to get out of here. When the walkers come calling, Craster will serve us up like so many pigs. He probably will. If we want to live. Definitely wouldn't trust him too much. We'll have to look out for ourselves. What do you mean we? How's he all of a sudden on body body terms with everyone? You woke him. Sorry. Yeah, no, we're gonna be able to save this kid. Does he have a name? No. You're going to give him one? Why? Well, I don't know if it would be better to have a name or not. I don't have time for you. I don't have time for anyone but him because he doesn't have much time. Well, I can't imagine they can just take the baby with them as they're walking out, so I don't know what he can do. Oh, damn, we are switching fast in this one. So we're out spirit walking again, or whatever it was called. You have to go after him. How? You know how. Fly? Oh, yeah, right, he liked to climb. But isn't it just gonna fly away, though? I mean, I wouldn't go climbing after a bird. Brandon? What? How many times have I told you? No more climbing. Promise me! Promise me! That's a little disturbing. Ah! Promise me! Oh, okay, all right. Is he very large? And now we're back here again. He was extraordinary. Most extraordinary man they've ever had. Oh, Podrick? A quiet boy in Lord Tyrion's service. Seems a bit simple. What did he do to them? I don't know, my lord. Well, maybe you should go find out. And what did Littlefinger say about this loss of income? He was too preoccupied to notice. He's leaving for the Eerie soon. Oh, yeah, he was going to propose to the crazy woman. Is that all it takes to make our friend lose interest in poor Sansa Stark? His shipboard inventory. You can read. Rare for a woman in your profession. Former profession? Yeah, of course. Former prof Oh, is she just running things now? Could he be bringing one of his girls? He's not interested in them, my lord. How do you know? Because I'm one of his girls. Uh, prodigies in odd places indeed. Rhaenyra Targaryen was murdered by her Oh brother. yeah, and this little creep. Are they gonna go hunt people together with this crossbow, While I wonder? <laughs> What's left of her is buried in the crypts right down there. This guy. The ashes of Aryan Targaryen, Aryan Bright Flame, they call them. He thought drinking wildfire would turn him into a dragon. <laughs> he was wrong. Yeah, that doesn't sound very bright. Are you sure Lady Marjorie doesn't find all this a bit macabre? Oh no, it's quite all right, Your Grace. It's like taking a walk through history. Well, she's certainly playing her part very well. I don't know how curious she actually is, though. It seemed like only yesterday. <laughs> it seems like a lifetime ago. We mothers. Do what we can to keep our sons from the grave. We shower them with good sense and it slides right off like rain up a wing. It's interesting that these two are getting along so well. Not sure where that's gonna lead to. Shall we go and see them? If you give them your love, they will return it a thousandfold. Yeah, it's probably worried he's gonna get stoned or something if he goes out. They adore you. He doesn't look so convinced. Open the doors. Watch him get some mud flung in at him or something. Well, they're screaming her name, but they're being civil anyway. Oh, there we go. Not that I'm happy for his sake, but maybe he can kind of see that there's a point to being kind and care for his people a little bit. Oh, is it to deep with Not far, my lord. Oh yeah, Theon. Why would you risk your life for me? I grew up on Saltcliff, my lord. I was only a boy when they took you away. I remember the look on my father's face when he told us. That's Balon Greyjoy's last living son. Did he call him Balon Greyjoy? I thought it was Balon. Where are we sneaking into now? My father gave me a choice. And I made it. The iron price for him to fall. Yeah, you did. Starting to regret it a little bit now. What? Oh yeah, the actual whoever the the farmer's boys. Found them. Yeah. Poor orphans living with the farmer. I let Dagma slit their throats so I could keep Winterfell and make my father proud. And they 
maybe it's not too late. It is. My real father lost his head at King's Landing. Huh. I made a choice. Really now? And I chose wrong. Well, I guess it's better late than never that he realizes anyway, but could have realized a little sooner. She's up here. Yara! Brought him back. He, he killed the others. What? No, what? Didn't. You can't. Did he take him back there? Uh, what? Uh, Did, he... Where he belongs. Did he rescue him just to betray him? What? What was that about? Why were the... I'm so confused. Well, okay. I guess we'll see more hopefully eventually. Why would he do that? What are you doing? I'm dying. Being depressed, I'd imagine. You coward. Little misfortune, you get <laughs> a little misfortune. misfortune. Yeah, I think it's a little more than that misfortune. to him. You lost your hand. I agree you shouldn't give up though, but you have a taste. One taste of the real world. Where people have important things taken from them. And you whine and cry and quit. Yeah, most people in that land probably have it far worse for sure. Probably give anything to be in his position and only lose a hand. Oh, are we trying to eat a little bit? We told them Tarth was full of sapphires. It's not? It's called the Sapphire Isle because of the blue of its water. Oh! I knew that. So, okay. How's that going to work out for her, though? They might want some kind of ransom, I imagine. Why did you help me? But I guess it worked out for the moment. It's not going to say why you helped her. You wanted to speak to me? Yes, about Jamie. What about him? I wanted to make sure we're doing everything we can to get him back. What was that? Oh yeah, don't they? Didn't they use sand or something to soak up excess ink? I wonder if that's what that was. What do you think I am doing for my eldest son and heir? Whatever you can. Whatever I can. You're still here. Yes. She is. Why? Did it ever occur to you that I might be the one who deserves your confidence and your trust? That she might have the most to contribute to your legacy that you love so much more than your actual children? Careful. All right. <coughs> contribute. The Tyrells are a problem. Marjorie has her claws in Joffrey. She does she definitely knows how have to that. Manipulate him. Good. I wish you knew how to manipulate him. Ouch. I don't distrust you because you're a woman. I distrust you because you're not as smart as you think you are. Perhaps you should try stopping him from doing what he likes. I will. Oh, really now? I wonder how that's going to go. Now that he's king and all. Growing strong. Ha! The dullest words of any house. Winter is coming. Now oh, that's memorable. Dire wolves and krakens, fierce beasts. But a golden rose growing strong. Oh. It's not that impressive, I have to agree. But it's pretty the symbol anyway. I wanted to personally welcome you to King's Landing. You here to seduce me? What happens when the non-existent bumps against the decrepit? Question for the philosopher. <laughs> you look down. Did you come mincing all this way for something? Might I sit? No. Oh really um, no. I've heard you're such a clever man. You've taken an interest in Sansa Stark. Why shouldn't I take an interest? She's an interesting girl. Is she? No, not particularly. <laughs> She's had an interesting childhood. She has. Yeah, she has that. Well, forgive me for wasting your time then. Walk with me. I know the walls have ears, but apparently the shrubbery does too. Yeah, everything probably has ears there. Littlefinger is not long for the capital. A confidant of mine has told me that when he goes, Sansa Stark goes with him. Why have you come to me with this matter? Littlefinger is one of the most dangerous men in Westeros. If Robb Stark falls, Sansa Stark is the key to the north. Oh yeah, I guess she would be. But isn't he a little bit too old for her though? I don't know if that matters, but... You're a clever man, Lord Varys. I believe I have a possible solution. One doesn't need to be clever for that. It's all rather obvious, isn't it? Is it? What's the solution then? <clears throat> I didn't mean to disturb you. You haven't. We'd like some privacy, please, if you wouldn't mind waiting back inside the keep. 
Or if you'd be kind enough to give me your names, I'll ask the king to speak with you himself. They're not obey. Are they not supposed to obey her? Or were they just being disobedient? I'll tell you what I prayed for in the set this morning. For my family's health and happiness. For an end to the war. For a short winter. And you? I'm sorry, I just can't. Pray for Joffrey to drop dead, maybe? <laughs> Big face, but that's ridiculous. I think it had something to do with my nose. So I prayed that she'd catch a horrible skin disease. A week after that, she came down with porridge plague. Porridge plague? That's not very nice. But I guess she wasn't being very nice to her Both either. Sides often you die in agony. But that's awful. What? That's God. not true. I believed you. <laughs> I want us to be friends. That would make me very happy. She could certainly use a friend or two. We have a great masquerade, Night of the Harvest Moon. You should see the costumes. People work on them for months. I don't think the Queen would let me leave King's Landing. Once I marry Joffrey, I'll be Queen. And if you were to I wouldn't marry discount Lawrence. Cersei for that, though. But yeah, that would be an interesting match, I suppose. We would be sisters, you and I. Do you like that? But would Loras like that? I mean, it's a nice idea. He's a good man, a good ranger. We shall never see his like again. And now his watch is ended. Oh, that's what that is. I was almost wondering if the episode name was ref like a reference to Jamie because of his hand, but. Wasn't his foot that killed him? That bastard Craster starved him to death. Craster's got his daughters. What? Days. We can't just show up and steal all his food. The Brothers of the Night's Watch, not thieves. The day we leave. A lot of them probably are originally thieves, but. They sit down to a feast of hammer potatoes and laugh at us. Having you, Bannon, could smell so good. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever heard that remark before about a body burning. I had my 99. You ever meet a man with 99 Ninety sons? He sacrificed 99 sons? I'll be glad when you and yours are gone. As soon as our wounded are strong enough. You cut their throats to be done with it. Whose throat are you gonna cut, old man? Wait outside. My wives give you bread. The sawdust in the bread. You don't like it. You go out there and eat the snow. This isn't looking too promising. Not for Craster, anyway. I am a godly man! You're a stingy bastard! Bastard! This guy should be careful. I mean, he's not in such good standing as it is. I'll chop the hands off the next man who calls me bastard. You are a bastard. A daughter fucking wildling bastard. Oh my god! Who the hell is this guy even? Have we even seen him before? I shall have your head. What the shit? Did we just kill him too? Or stab him anyway? What? Okay. What the hell? Everybody's fighting everybody. I don't know where this came from all of a sudden. Being hungry, I guess. Oh my god, is that how he's gonna die? And we're stabbing him even more. That little shit, they should have killed him a long time ago. Okay, and they're seizing it. The Where are they gonna run though? Okay, I guess she would know the lay of the land, but... Well, so this group is just over with now, like, I mean... I'll be cutting your throat one of these nights! Okay, that was very unexpected. Can I take this hood off yet? I do apologize, little lady, but it's better for you if you don't see where we're going. Oh! What is it? Blackstrap rum. Oh. And Thoros of Mirror, remember from the histories and lore, he was part of some battle and fought with a flaming sword. I don't know what that was about. It sounded really interesting. What is this place? Somewhere neither wolves nor lions can prowl it. Is that their headquarters, or where are we? You look like a bunch of swine herds. You think carrying a crooked spear makes you a soldier? No. Fighting in a war makes you a soldier. Beric Dundarian. You've seen better days, and I won't see them again. Beric Don Dare. Have we heard that name before? That sounds new. Here you are, a thousand miles from home. Which of us is running? Untie these ropes, and we'll find out. 
And again, they've tied him too, way too high. Like, he just shrugged that rope off, but whatever. You pray in the weak. The Brotherhood without banners will hunt you down. You found God. Is that it? Aye. I've been reborn in the light of the one true God. The one true? Is that the fire god? I wonder if that's what his burning sword was about too, actually. I can't remember the name of that one. Lord of the Light, I think? Is being born Clegane a crime? Murder is a crime. I never touched the Targaryen babes. You murdered Micah. The butcher's boy. Oh yeah, he did do that. Rode him down or whatever? You rode him down. You slung him over your horse like he was some deer. Aye, he was a bleeder. You stand accused of murder, but no one here knows the truth of the charge. So it is not for us to judge you. Only the Lord of Light may do that now. What, are we gonna set him on fire? I sentence you to trial by combat. Against who? Should we find out if your fire god really loves you, priest? Or is the little girl the bravest one here? Well, she might be. I. She might be. <laughs> but it's me you'll fight. Okay. Is that a good thing or a bad? I couldn't tell whether he was worried or not. Oh, and here we go. Is it time to hand over the dragon? The master says they are untested. He says you would be wise to blood them early. It's kind of a big crate. Oh, it's grown a little bit, maybe. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out so well for you, buddy. Is it done then? And we keep insulting her still. Not very smart, this guy. Is he gonna tell it to cook him? Poor dragon. But I'm guessing it's not gonna be for long. Okay. Yeah, she does. Yeah, you fucked up, dude. Okay. We're going a little overboard. I thought she was just gonna toast the master, dude. Dracarys. Yeah, I figured that was coming for him, but is she gonna kill the whole freaking place? Anyone holding? I think I'd throw my whips and run. Okay, that was quick. Did we torch the whole place? I guess she did blood them early. I wonder if she lost any men in that little coup. But they're gonna fight for her instead, I'm guessing? But that is a ballsy move though, risking them just walking free after she did everything to get them. What's that mean? They're gonna fight for her? Yeah, I'm guessing that's what it means. I guess we got our army then anyway. And they're probably gonna be a lot more loyal after this, I would imagine. Is she gonna throw that away? Yeah, I figured she would throw that away. That's a lot of people. And we got the dragons too. That's a very cool shot. Yeah, are we ending it here? Yeah, I figured we we're gonna end it there. Okay, so I guess Daenerys finally got her army and the Slave Master definitely got what he deserved. And it seems like we haven't quite seen the end of Jaime just yet either. I thought that was a really good episode though. It felt like it was almost one of the better in a while. Like, 
I really enjoyed that a lot and I'm really looking forward to see how things are going to continue from here and where Daenerys is going to move with her army and what she's going to do. And also of course how Jaime is going to function after this. It seems like he kind of got a little bit of his spirits back, sort of anyway, but uh, I guess we'll see. But really looking forward to the next one, but for now, as usual, thank you so very much for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one as well. Bye bye.